This week we're talking about some of the shocking sound bites that came from our Savior Jesus. One time there was a man who came to Jesus and asked, are only a few people going to be saved? And in response, Jesus said this. He said, make every effort to enter through the narrow door because many, I tell you, will try to enter and will not be able to. Jesus is sort of known for saying and Christianity is sort of known for teaching that the door to heaven is narrow. In fact, that there's just one way in and that way, that door, is Jesus. To a lot of people today, that statement is not only shocking, it's very upsetting. We would much rather want to believe that there are many doors to get into heaven and that anyone that would try would ultimately succeed. We'd much rather believe that whether a person is Christian or Jewish or Muslim or Hindu or even just spiritual but not really even religious at all, that as long as they try their best to be a good person, they'll ultimately get in. And we'd like to think that if heaven were like that, heaven would be more wide open and more people would get in. But believe it or not, just the opposite is true. In fact, I I want you to picture a new restaurant opening up in a city that everyone is talking about and everyone wants to go to. It has great food, fantastic atmosphere, reasonable prices, and so everyone wants to go. And thankfully, this restaurant has many doors. There are doors on the front of the building. There are doors on both sides of the building. There are all kinds of ways for people to get in. And yet this restaurant that you're picturing is located in the American South back in the early 1960s. And so in the front window of that restaurant, there's a sign that says, Whites Only. Are there lots of different ways to get into that restaurant? Sure. Does that mean everyone is welcome and can get in? Obviously not. In the very same way, we'd maybe like to think that heaven would have many different doors and anyone who tries their best to be a good person should get in and we'd maybe think that that would open heaven for more and more people. But really, just the opposite is true. Really, we would be making heaven sort of like that restaurant. Sure, there might be lots of different ways to get in, but ultimately, there would be a sign hanging in the front window. The sign wouldn't say, white people only. The sign would say, good people only. The implication, of course, being that all the bad people would be left out. And that's an especially scary thought when we think a little bit about which of those two groups we really belong in. In fact, let me ask, when it comes to God's first and greatest commandment, to love him above all things, to always put him ahead of everything and everyone else in our life, where do you fall, good or bad? When it comes to God's second great commandment, to love your neighbor as yourself, to always put other people and their interests ahead of your own, where do you fall, good or bad? The reality is that if heaven is only for good people, then absolutely no one would qualify. Absolutely everyone would get left out. In contrast, because there is just one door to heaven and because that door is Jesus, there are absolutely no requirements to get in. There are no standards that need to be met. There are no expectations that we need to live up to. Instead, God simply says that we need to put our trust in Jesus, the one person who not only tried his best to be a good person, but who actually succeeded at being perfect. Put our trust in Jesus, the person who took on himself all the bad things that all the bad people in all the world, including you and me, and took those on himself and carried them to the cross. Yes, the door to heaven is narrow, but because that door is Jesus, it means that there's absolutely no one in all the world who fails to qualify to get in. Yes, that door is narrow, but it is also wide open. Let's pray. Dear Jesus, we know that the door to heaven is narrow. In fact, it is closed apart from you. We thank you that even though we are the last people who deserve to get in, you have made that door wide open through your life and death for us. In your name we pray, amen. Hey, it's Pastor Mike. Thanks so much for listening. If you enjoy this message and have friends that you think will enjoy it too, would you take just a moment and share it with them? 
Sharing not only helps this podcast gets discovered, it also helps tons of other people learn about the unconditional love and the general awesomeness of Jesus. <laughs> Thanks for taking the time. Thanks for sharing this message and have an amazing day.